LabVIEW is a powerful programming language. Its graphical nature makes it very approachable and easy to get started, even without a lot of programming experience. But scaling it to solve complex problems can be a challenge. In this presentation, we will discuss some of the challenges of programming in LabVIEW and how to overcome them with this simple yet powerful framework called MLA. There are many design patterns and frameworks that have been developed for LabVIEW, starting with the examples and the basic training from NI, you can learn some simple ones to get you started. First, three-step applications, acquire, analyze, present, then a state machine. As you learn, you start using queues and step up to a QSM, a queued state machine, or a QMH, a queued message handler. QMH is great, but it has its limits. Quickly, you end up with multiple QMH loops interacting with each other and requiring communication and coordination that's all left up to you to build. Advanced LabVIEW users have other tools to choose from. Tools such as Actor Framework are great, but they can have a steep learning curve, leaving it out of reach for many developers. We were frustrated by the gap between the simple design patterns and the more capable and complex frameworks. That space is filled by a lot of custom code by programmers just trying to find a way to make things work, but often lacking planning and structure. We saw this as an opportunity to create MLA to help bridge that gap. Actor-based programming is a powerful way of representing complex systems. It is used to describe the design of concurrent systems where objects, also called actors, are self-contained components which interact with other actors by sending messages. Each actor has a different role and responsibility. The communication between the actors is the way they coordinate with each other to form an application. The LabVIEW Actor Framework is one implementation of this type of system. MLA uses a variation of the actor model. MLA provides the benefits of actor programming with a simple framework. The design goals for MLA focused on making a simple, productive programming experience make the program easy to extend functionality, make the program easy to modify, debug, and maintain, make the program easy to hand off to another developer, provide a shallow learning curve so you can be productive quickly. To achieve this, MLA provides a number of features. The ability to support multiple QMH-like loops and make adding additional loops easy, use string-based messages with user-definable parameters for simple, easy-to-modify communication, provide a broadcast message system requiring no queue management, brokering, or mailboxes, provide an error log class to collect and record errors. With these simple features, MLA lets you think in terms of actors, but code in the familiar producer-consumer loop structure of LabVIEW. The MLA app consists of three parts, the setup, the loops, and the cleanup. The setup and cleanup provide code that runs just once, as the name suggests, to set up the program and to clean up after the program is done running. The loops contain the real working code of the program. The loops are the actors, as we discussed earlier, which work together to make the application. Each loop has certain responsibilities within the program, such as providing data acquisition, handling the GUI, or generating a report. Here is an example of what an MLA application looks like. The setup code on the left provides the program name and revision documentation. It can also be used to do various initialization and other housekeeping tasks. Each of the loops is an actor with a role. The top loop is generally the GUI loop of the MLA application. It interacts with the front panel and sends messages to the other actors as functions are requested. The messages of MLA are broadcast messages. When a message is sent, it is received by all other actors. Imagine a director giving stage directions to the actors. They all hear it, and each actor decides whether or not to take action. Some actors may take direct action, some may be interested in knowing what the other actor is doing, and others may ignore the message altogether. This style of communication can be very helpful over the usual directed messages of a point-to-point -point queue. It has a distinct advantage of simplicity as well. As more actors are added to the system, the messaging does not increase in complexity. Any actor can talk to any other actor at any time. The messages can be general, 
such as start a test run. But they can also be directed to another actor, such as report, generate PDF. As applications become more complex, it can be helpful to move an actor into its own module. A loop can be implemented in a sub-VI. You can see two of them on the bottom of the block diagram. They work in the same way as other loops. They are running in parallel with all of the same features, but it removes clutter from the main VI. This is also very helpful to support development by multiple programmers, each working in their own actor's VI. MLA is a simple, powerful LabVIEW framework. It gives you the benefits of actor programming with a much easier learning curve. You can be up and productive with MLA very quickly using the producer-consumer loop structure that you are already familiar with. MLA lets you think in terms of actors, but code in the familiar producer-consumer loop structure of LabVIEW. The best part is that MLA is provided as an absolutely free tool. You can download it using the link below. It is open source, free to download, free to use, free to modify in any way you like for internal use as well as using it to produce software that you sell to others. If you have any questions or need help with your LabVIEW application, please contact us at mla at s5solutions.com. Thanks for your interest in learning more about MLA. We trust it can become a valuable tool for you in your next LabVIEW project.